center gardener and it's actually kind of a cute little town and I think we're right outside of Wyoming. Yeah. It's really kind of cute. One of the things we've really had to do as we've started van life is scoping out places that have Wi-Fi um, so that we can actually work in the van for a couple days. And it seems like we might be able to possibly park maybe just on the side of the road um, yeah. tonight. Yeah, and then be able to work tomorrow. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. So we think we just found some gluten-free vegan breakfast items in Gardner. So we're gonna go give it a shot and see what we can find. Avocado toast, it's gluten-free and vegan. Sounds amazing. Well, I forgot my mask, so I can't go inside. So I'm just gonna wait out here. Oh well. Success. Gluten-free veggie muffin. That's for us. Oh, we're gonna split it? Yeah. So as soon as I told you guys that we were in Gardner right outside of Wyoming, we actually just entered Yellowstone National Park. We didn't do a lot of research on when we would actually enter the park. So this is super cool that we're already here. And we're gonna have to, Brian knows more of our itinerary than I do. I'm just kind of going with the flow today. Um, but we're gonna go check out and see what's, um, I think just around this little area, try to get some info before we head into the park and uh, see what's going on. Liberty cap, we at least think that's what it looks yeah, like. That's what it is. <laughs> it looks like a butt plug. <laughs> like, Prehistoric butt plug. Prehistoric butt plug. Right there. The dinosaur butt plug. Well, let's go see everybody's looking at. <laughs> So we just got what to what we think is Mammoth Hot Springs. We're not quite sure yet. GPS says something else, but there's a bunch of people and it looks pretty pretty cool. There's some trails, so we're gonna go check it out. Finish eating over here. Ready? Yeah. Let's go see uh let's we'll see what this is. <laughs> it's pretty cool. This is this is it. This is it? This is it. <laughs> One of my favorite photos. Lesson is don't fall in the hot springs. Definitely shortness of breath, not this elevation. going over Mammoth Hot Springs. Super beautiful. It is actually really, really warm out today. I think which was probably one of the warmest days in the fall. I was actually really surprised at how crowded it is, still is. I could not imagine coming to Yellowstone during the summer when everybody's here. We are thinking like kids would be back in school and everything, but it's still really packed. Um, so if anything, if I were to come again, I would definitely suggest probably October would be would be better. But we're gonna head now, where are we going? Larmar Valley? Lamar Valley. Lamar Valley. So we're gonna go to Lamar Valley. We're gonna see if we can see some some more animals. It was really crowded here. I don't think they're really hanging out at the hot springs. Uh, so we're gonna go check out the valley and um, maybe eat some food, some hot, definitely drink some water, stay hydrated. 
we're gonna do. just driving and we pulled over on the side of the road and there's all these beautiful bison and there's baby bison too. It's a bison block in the middle of the road. And here comes more. What do you think? There's nothing like Yellowstone. It's pretty amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, there's a bison right there <laughs> on the side of the road. Yeah. Right there. Yeah. We totally missed it. Lamar Valley. Yeah. It's pretty awesome. Not bad. Not bad. Like all, there's so much bison here. I don't even remember this, like as a kid that there was this much. Huh. I think I was too scared. So I hid in the car the entire that's probably why I see it. The entire time. <laughs> cool. Next up, keep continue on Lamar Valley. Let's keep going in the valley. Wolf and Grizzly. Hopefully, we see a bear. Tour. We hope to show you We're a bear. We're going to continue. We hope to show you a bear. Counting on it. See you guys soon. We just finished Lamar. What is it? <laughs> I always forget the name of this. Lamar? Lamar Valley. I hope we're saying that right. We just finished Lamar Valley. We're gonna go try to find a campsite right now since we do not have one. Then we're gonna get up really early in the morning tomorrow, go for sunrise in Lamar Valley. We talked to a guy today that said he saw three grizzlies and a whole pack of wolves and all these, this pack of wolves was like nipping at the grizzlies and there was like a whole thing going on and they're all howling and you could hear it. So we're gonna try and capture that tomorrow morning. We're so set on seeing grizzlies right now. So set. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> We're a hundred percent. Also, my nickname for Brian is BB Bear. Brian Brown Bear. So I feel like it's only fitting. So we'll pick up with you all tomorrow morning. We're gonna go watch find our campsite, watch some Yellowstone in Yellowstone. Eat some food, get up early. See you guys soon. Good morning, everyone. Hello. Hello. <laughs> so we woke up early this morning, like at 5 a.m. I was actually up most of the night last night. And we got to Lamar Valley to watch sunrise, which was beautiful. But we saw wolves this morning, which was really awesome. Like the pack was playing. We heard them howling. Heard them howling. Yeah. It's bison everywhere, but everywhere. we're going to still kind of go look. We're going to go towards this place where the river is closer uh, to the viewing area to see if we can still see some bears. It's still kind of early. It's only like 8 a.m. So we're going to hit the road and then we'll film some more stuff for you guys. It's that time. What time is that? Empty out the pee tank. It's a dirty job. 
some good. That would be me. That'd be me. <laughs> Brian is the self-professed pee pee tank toilet cleaner for us. That's one thing, like we're always looking for those pet toilets and whatnot when we're around. And it looks like we have one. Let's see if I can get it. Nope. Whoop. Right there. There's no pee tank. That's a lot of pee. <laughs> That's that work out for you. It's great. Should have came in. <laughs> That's good glass. I am a maybe like an Asian inspired, inspired stir fry. We have kelp noodles, ginger, carrots, garlic, zucchini, red pepper. And then I got some spice in here. Oh, and I got sun butter, fresh orange, fresh lime. I'm gonna top it off. Some fresh green onion. And then I gotta find some Let's eat. Mmm. It's really good with our hot sauce. Mm. Well, that was a great lunch. Was that lunch or was that dinner? What time is it? Okay. I don't know why, but one of the most exciting things that I think we're gonna do, at least this is what I think so far, this could be totally different once we see it, is we're gonna go see a petrified tree. Where is it? I don't know. It just said it was a fourth of a mile. No trailer or large vehicles. Are we a large oh, vehicle? Is this a large vehicle? I think well, so. We're about to find out. So we just saw the petrified tree. It was a little less to be desired of all the things in Yellowstone. Would I suggest seeing it? Probably not. All right, we're going to the like, Norris Geyser Basin. Yes. It's on the edge of the Yellowstone Volcano. Oh, what do we have here? I was going to say, this is on Let's try that again. Yellowstone Volcano. One of the biggest volcanoes in the country. Yeah, I yeah. think so. So, um, we'll see you over there. But you can kind of tell what the temperature is just based on the color. That's pretty bad because of the different organisms that live within that area and like that temperature. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. This is so crazy. It's like we're on another planet, isn't it? Yeah. It really is. It's like we're in one of those like shows, like Mars or yeah. one of them. I think we're in a volcano. I'm not really sure. <laughs> it Maybe. said we were near or we're, this is like part of the active Yellowstone volcano. Um, we need to do some more research. We keep kind of like just going with the yeah, flow and we haven't really we need to do some more research. We're just walking into things. Yeah, see what happens. See what happens.
like it got really warm all of a sudden. You feel that? Yeah, it got really warm. Whoa. Yeah, it got really oh, wow. warm. Wow. Whoa. I feel like this is the perfect place to be for sunset. Yeah. It's so gorgeous. You can't see it. <laughs> oh, duck. Hi. That's so perfect. <laughs> yeah, gorgeous for sunset. Like, I think the sunsets in Yellowstone have just been phenomenal for both of us. Yeah, it's been unreal. Yeah, like I don't want to leave. We I said know. we were on our way out, but. We said we were leaving two hours ago and we're still here. <laughs> we're still here. <laughs> So we just got to a little lookout, whoa, of the canyon, the Yellowstone Canyon and the falls. Holy moly, you guys have to see this. Whoa, check this out. back at it again today and we are finally at Old Faithful and I think it's supposed to um I don't know what the correct term would be go off explode do its thing in what about 20 minutes 20 minutes and it's pretty accurate down to about 10 minutes so we're gonna go check it out and uh film for you guys I think we're gonna go this way. We're gonna go check out the lodge too. When I was here, when I was little, I remember just how big the lodge was. And this is the one place where I did want to get out of the car. Everywhere else, I was too scared of the grizzlies when I was little. Things have changed. Uh, ready? Where is it? Well, let's go this way. Sure. Everything's that way. Let's go figure it out. <laughs> we gotta figure this out. I feel like I've been here before. Yeah, I know that's impossible because I've never been here before. Yeah, it's a different last time. No. Many people here like watching this I could not imagine coming during the summer and I think I've already said that a couple times but right now it's just so packed you filming me you film me you film me I don't know where we're at is this a light cafeteria cabins and gifts sure we're gonna go check it out This might be the way to go. Oh my god. Look at 
look at him. He's so cute. <laughs> Okay, so on a scale of one to 10, what do you give Old Faithful? I wanna give it a 10 because it's nature and that's just a 10 in general. I still find that like of all the attractions that are in Yellowstone though, I feel like the canyon was gorgeous and not a lot of people talk about that. Yeah. And Lamar Valley was probably incredible. One of my, that's probably my favorite was Lamar Valley. Yeah. I give Old Faithful a six. Oof. Out of yeah, 10. just because I think like just a, a, sometimes I, when things are so um, I, talked up or so well, famous, I, you see them in person and they're just not that. Oh, well, I heard all this big. talk about it going over 100 feet tall, and that was like what 30 feet maybe. I don't know, or our 40 ability know. to tell the actual. I don't know. Isn't that great? I think it was just when things are talked up so much and then you see it and it's a little underwhelming. Yeah. I'd rather have people be like, oh, it's not that cool. And then you see it and then you're like, oh, that's so amazing. That was cool. I'm glad we did it. Yeah. For the but, viewers. <laughs> I feel pretty complete. Yeah. What do you think? I think it's time to get out of here. Come back next year. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. Bye.